Netflix might be a giant in the entertainment industry, but they've been facing a ton of problems over the past few months. They recently lost $54 billion overnight, they're on track to lose millions of subscribers, and now, unfortunately for them, they're in even more trouble because they're being sued by shareholders for misleading them about subscriber growth. I have a few things to show off, but before we get into the topic at hand, if you enjoy the content that I create, please make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. Follow me on social media like Twitter or mine so that you can see when my content is posted. And of course, if you do really enjoy the videos and the live streams that I create, please consider becoming a Dark Titan via Patreon for just a dollar a month or support the channel via YouTube memberships. All of the links are in the description, and of course, I do really appreciate all of the support. So I wanted to start with this Hollywood Reporter article that says Netflix hit with shareholder lawsuit after disclosing subscriber loss. It says, Netflix downplayed the impact of account sharing, increased competition from other streaming services, and difficulties retaining users according to a shareholder lawsuit. Now, these are things that I've talked about several times over the past couple of months, especially things like difficulty retaining subscribers, competition from other streaming services. And recently, we did hear about how Netflix is planning to crack down on account sharing. They really want to make sure that people have their own accounts that people are not sharing their accounts with other users which i know a lot of people do i mean they are losing a ton of money to account sharing but with all these streaming services a lot of people do it with friends with family members it says in a complaint filed tuesday in california federal court investors sued the streamer for being overly optimistic about its business prospects by misleading them about losing subscribers now when it comes to any company of course they want to be optimistic and they want to make everything sound positive to shareholders and investors they want to make it sound like your investment is worth it you're not going to lose money everything's going great and hey we're thinking everything is going to be better in the future just stick around with us for a little longer but uh, things are not working out the way that netflix hoped as a result of the defendant's wrongful acts and omissions and the precipitous decline in the market value of the company's securities, plaintiff and other class members have suffered significant losses and damages, reads the complaint. In April, Netflix disclosed a loss of 200,000 subscribers during its most recent quarter. It was the first time in years the streamer didn't grow its user base. It attributed the loss to a sluggish economy, increasingly stiff competition from other streaming platforms, Platforms and the war in Ukraine. Netflix said in a shareholder letter that it would have gained 500,000 users if it had not suspended service in Russia. On top of that, the streamer warned that it expected to shed another 2 million subscribers in the next quarter, and Netflix's stock tumbled 35%. Now, we're not even talking about 2 million subscribers for the year. We're talking about 2 million subscribers just for the next quarter. And that's on top of the 200,000 subscribers they lost during the previous quarter. Now, Netflix is obviously a very popular platform. There's no doubt about it. Yes, platforms like Disney Plus have Star Wars and Marvel. Hulu has series like The Handmaid's Tale. And all of these things are popular as well. But Netflix is beating their competition over the head in terms of content releases. And I've talked about this before. They've got massive hits like Bridgerton, Squid Games, all of the romance reality shows the Korean dramas, you name it, and Netflix basically has it. Now, a lot of people have left the platform because of political reasons. People on the left dislike content like Chappelle's specials, and on the right, people detest content like Cuties. But people eventually get sick and tired of seeing content that don't align with their views, and it leads them to cut off their services. There's other reasons, too, like price increases, but politics are a big reason for subscriber numbers dropping, and of course, Netflix wants to play play it off as, well, we saw a bump because of the pandemic, and now those numbers are falling a little bit, and the economy's bad and everything, but, but they've fallen a lot more than they're leading investors to believe. It says, led by a trustee of Imperium, a uh, irrevocable trust, the lawsuit seeks to represent investors who bought shares of Netflix between October 19th, 2021 and April 19th, 2022. 
At the beginning of the class period, Netflix announced its third quarter financial results in a letter to shareholders that said, we are seeing the positive effects of a stronger slate in the second half of the year with figures supporting the statement. And on a conference call with analysts and investors the same day, Netflix's chief financial officer commented that throughout the quarter, the business remained healthy as it had been throughout the years with churn at low levels. He added that management expected to continue in terms of that healthy retention and then this kind of acceleration as we get past those initial market reopenings with COVID and past the COVID pull for forwarding into the strength of our slate. Now, when it comes to numbers like this and their projections, at the end of the day, it's just someone looking at numbers saying, hey, we think that this platform's going to grow more, or hey, we think that it's going to lose subscribers. And of course, we are always going to see companies try to be as positive and optimistic as possible to investors because they don't want investors to leave. They don't want people to back out um, and retract money that's on the table for them currently. Of course, they're going to always paint things in the most positive picture they can. But at the same time, now they're being accused of doing it too much. Now they're being accused of lying. And of course, I've talked about Netflix a lot over the past few weeks. I did a video on this specifically, but Elon Musk had eviscerated Netflix after they lost their 200,000 subscribers and predict even greater losses and see their stock prices tank. There were a lot of people uh, attacking Netflix, basically saying that Netflix deserves it. And again, a giant reason is because of the political content they're putting on their platform. It says Elon Musk, who's currently a attempting to purchase Twitter, and he successfully did, recently eviscerated Netflix after the company revealed in their first quarter financial report for 2022 that they had shed over 200,000 subscribers, which in turn led to the company's stock plummeting. And in reaction to news coverage of Netflix's stock prices cratering due to its decrease in subscribers, he had wrote, the woke mind virus is making Netflix unwatchable. And this has hundreds of thousands of likes. Many, many people agree with him and think that he is correct. And I do too, to a certain degree. There were also people commenting back like Niche Gamer saying, not just Netflix, movies in general, video games, TV, it's all infested with current year trend woke garbage garbage for fear offending a green-haired freak next to the ban button. Nothing original anymore at all except for media coming out of places like Japan or Korea, ironically. Unfortunately, this is very true. Entertainment in general, whether it's movies and TV or video games, are all infected with current year woke garbage. And it is not turning out well for these companies that are trying to push narratives in their content, trying to shove opinions in people's faces. I mean, if we look at shows that launch that are super woke right from the get-go, like Batwoman, those shows are failing. They are not doing good. Games that are pushing those things in people's faces are not doing good either. And I don't like Netflix and I could care less about them winning this. Honestly, I hope they do lose. Only time will tell. But right now, that's all of the information that we have. But that's all that I really had to discuss in this video. Let everyone know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed and found it important and informative, please make sure to give it a like, share it, and subscribe to the channel. And of course, if you didn't, make sure to give it a dislike. I appreciate your support either way, but I will talk to you all again in the next video really soon.